To other news now. To the world, he was the greatest boxer of all time. But to his neighbours and friends in Louisville, Kentucky, he was a spirited boy who grew into a kind and gentle man. Muhammad Ali will be remembered at a public memorial on Friday. As President Obama led global tributes today, those who knew him and grew up with him shared some of their private memories. Our North America correspondent Zoe Daniel has spent the day in Ali's childhood home, Louisville. He once famously said, I am America, and today his country honoured him. None more so than those in his childhood home, Louisville, Kentucky. The message was to the world, oh yes I can, yes I'm the greatest, yes we can. He was a role model in sport and life, a defiant youth who became a gentle man. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. He hit with his hands, with his mind, he achieved. At the Muhammad Ali Center in downtown Louisville, under the gaze of the world's media, people laid flowers in torrential rain. He was just magnificent. There will never be another Muhammad Ali in the world. And I miss him, and I love him. That's how it is in Louisville, where flags were lowered to half-mast to honor a man who was more than a world champion here. You have a community that knew him so well. So while the world mourns on one level, Louisville mourns on a personal level. People began arriving here at Muhammad Ali's childhood home with candles at around 2 a.m. this morning, and still they come to get a sense of where the greatest of all time began his life. His brother was here too, back then and today. Kissing me, kiss, kissing me. I'm, I'm, I'm very emotional. I get carried away. Talk about my brother. He said, the good man, I'm going to miss him. He was a wonderful, wonderful, sweet, kind man. Loved all people, all people. Loved everybody. He was good. Good heart. So I cry from joy and happiness. Lawrence Montgomery was born in this street 81 years ago. He too remembers the champ as a mere boy. The school bus would come by to pick him up for school. He wouldn't get on the bus. He would run along beside the bus. Now Lawrence and his wife Violet have only their memories of a lifelong friendship with a man who became the greatest of all time. I think he's a hero. Yes, ma'am, I most certainly do. Yes. People all over the world love Muhammad Ali. You know, I just it's just amazing uh, how that came about, but yes. To me, he is a hero, mm -hmm. and I think he's a hero to a lot of people. Today, President Barack Obama said Muhammad Ali shook up the world. All seem to agree that we're better for it. Zoe Daniel, ABC News, Louisville, Kentucky.